Hello again. In this video we're going to be looking at the roles of a coach. A coach can have many roles in one sport or coaches may have different roles due to the sport or environment they are playing in. One role may be a motivator because less committed or hard working sportsmen may need more motivation to get them working hard or even for, for a committed team doing very intense training. Motivation is the drive to fill a need, so, so a motivator is someone who will provide a reason to fulfill that need in the form of extrinsic motivation, as it is coming from the coach, not within the athlete itself. A motivator is also someone who will push players through the difficult times, like when playing rugby in the winter in cold conditions. The coach should motiv motivate them to get through the session. However, a coach can only give so much, so intrinsic motivation is also necessary. For example, basketball players working on their skills individually when the coach is not there and it is not scheduled so the players must have intrinsic motivation to get themselves to train. A swimming team training at 5am every morning will need their coach to be motivated to push them through when they are fatigued. Similarly, a tennis coach teaching an athlete a good serve must be a motivator so that when they are not getting it right, the coach will make them believe they can do it. However, if a coach is training younger kids at a school club, they may be less interested in the sport, so they may not be very motivational, but be an educator instead. Or, an archery coach will be more relaxed as they don't want to distract the archer when they're shooting. Another role of a coach may be a role model. A role model is a person whose behaviour, example or success is or can be sim emulated by others especially by younger people. If a coach is a role model, this means that their players in, are inspired by them and therefore players may be more motivated as they want to show their coach that they are good. This is important for younger players as if they become inspired by a role model then they may try to mimic their behaviour in terms of the sport so they may copy their skills. Also, having role models may make children more, be more committed to their sport and so keep them playing when they're older. Steph Curry is a positive role model as he plays fairly and has also shown ball handling techniques that have been used all over the world. Likewise, Skylar Diggins is a great role model for women slash girls playing basketball. In comparison, Draymond Green is a negative role model due to his foul behaviour on the court as you can see by the number of technical fouls he receives. Another negative role model is Lance Armstrong as he was caught doping after winning seven Tour de France races. Basketball has many role models, but it's not as big in certain countries like the UK, so these role models for basketball may not be in the media so much. So British people may not be interested in basketball as much as people in the USA. Also, in most sports, there are not as many role models for women, as women's sports are not shown on TV or in the media as much. Coaches also have another effective role, which is being a friend. This means that they can joke around and talk to talk to their players about any problems they are having. This may help keep a good team climate, especially in adult social teams like Sunday League Football. The coach and players may have a good friendship here. This, this may also be an effective role when coaching kids, as this may help them feel more comfortable and capable if they feel like their coach is being their friend. However, when coaching kids, you must be careful that you're not too friendly, as people may get the wrong impression. Steve Kerr sh shows this when, the, when coaching the Golden State Warriors as he invites the team around his house for dinner every time there is a new player and you always see him joke around with players before and after games. However, sometimes being too friendly can demotivate players as they may not work as hard if the coach is too friendly. Also, a coach can be a friend but when training must still be strict to make sure the players work hard. If a teacher in a primary school is the coach of their cricket team, they may not act as friends as they also teach the children. Finally, a fourth role of a coach is a manager, which ensures that there is someone to make sure the training session is going properly and that the right tactics are being used, and also to make sure there is an influential voice for the players to listen to. Also, a manager will control and organise the players they coach. For example, in basketball, a manager must know when the right time to make a timeout and when to sub players. Steve Kerr showed this well when he was 3-1 down in the NBA Finals and came back to win. 
or a football manager must use the right formation to play against certain teams. However, in some cases a manager not, may not be a great role. For example, tennis, as the coach cannot manage the player throughout the game, so the coach cannot control the player or help change the outcome of the game after it's already been played. Also, being a manager, you must know your team's goals and your, and your player's individual goals so that you can create a plan and help these goals to become achievable. Another sport where they can't really be a manager is golf, as they cannot organise the player and cannot control them when playing. A golf coach may be more of a friend or role model than a manager.